Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and we're on the hunt for what might be a possessed Baxter. Oops, that's right, there's no menu. Ah, not menu, map. <laughs> map, map, map. Okay, oh god, this place is just friggin' frightening. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ashes to ashes. Looks like that would be really intriguing, but we gotta kill her to stop. Packed with the devil. Could it be the spirit of the mayor from way back when? That's the only person I can think of that's been introduced into the story so far. And even at that, I'm grasping at straws. Oh, come on. Wow, four? Now for the tricky ones. Ooh, one left. Alright, I can deal with this. Judge's Diary. It's the spirit of the judge. Okay. Now we're back in business. For as much as I kind of complain about these uh, demon pieces, I like it because at least introduce a bit more uh, difficulty in the game. And some randomness. Where am I going? This way to the wine cellar. Oh god, are we gonna find corpses? <sighs> oh my god, Baxter? What's going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. Oh, dude. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. killed you. The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. Yeah, because he shot out your eye. What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. I had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums. Like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point, we couldn't let it go. Even after Rex demoted me. Rex? So that's why you're at the museum. Shh. Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. 
She shouldn't end up alone. Did Sandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Well, you mean Fuck you. The help you got from her mom? Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere, but when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, 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 wait. The killer actually talked? Not much, but I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon, but he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. Rex? But the face isn't different, but he kills differently. Oh, I was so sure it was Baxter, but the string thing keeps throwing me off. I think the killer's inhabiting people to make this happen. But who? Stop licking the desk. What's wrong with you? Oh god, this is gonna get super creepy. What the hell happened down here? I don't know, but I want to know. There he is. Judging. Accusing. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. Well, we found our killer. Who's he inhabiting? There's the little girl. Why the bell? The little girl? Could she be going out to kill other people the way that she was killed? I mean, it's possible. That's the end of this. And we still have two clues to find. What are we missing? She draws on the walls. But I don't see anything. Through here. There we go. It's not what I needed. Nothing? Alright. Still five of seven. And the symbol? You call do. righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. 
the families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. If it takes me to the ends of eternity, I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. No. The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. Okay. So, she was accusing people of being witches. But why? And who is she inhabiting? No. And he's got joy. Lex is missing. It could be going down right now. Where'd you take joy, you asshole? To where the mother is? Probably the gallows. Ghost Girl from the Alleys is Abigail Williams, and this gallows was actually used to execute her centuries ago. That's gotta be it. <laughs> nope, not that. That either. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. Yeah, we better get to the museum fast. Well, isn't this an interesting little twist? Um, so we knew the killer was being um, inhabited by a ghost. Huh. I thought Abigail was burned for being a witch. Well, we'll find out in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this. As usual, any likes, comments, subscribes, much appreciated. So I definitely help out the channel, and I will see you, detectives, in the next episode. Cheers!